Hello everyone and welcome to this session on JavaScript framework by Hello everyone and welcome to this session on JavaScript framework by IntelliPad. JavaScript framework is the body or platform of pre-written codes used by JavaScript developers to develop JavaScript applications or web applications. In other words, JavaScript framework is a collection of predefined classes and functions that is used to process input manage hardware devices, interact with system software. In this session, you will learn all about JavaScript frameworks from scratch. So without further wait, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Let's have a look agenda today. What will we cover in this session? At first, we will talk about introduction to JavaScript. Then we will understand what is JavaScript framework. Further, we look at types of javascript framework after that where to use this framework then pros and cons of each framework at last but not the least importance of javascript framework so that's all about the agenda today let's start with the introduction to javascript javascript is a dynamic and lightweight programming language which is used for web development game development or also creating web application and provide many more features. Earlier, JavaScript was known by LiveScript, but in 1995, Netscape changed its name to JavaScript. So, this all about the JavaScript. Now, let's move on to the another agenda. What is JavaScript framework? JavaScript framework is a bundle of JavaScript libraries that provides predefined codes to the web developers for their routine programming task. On the other hand, framework gives a template for common programming pattern and you don't have to write the code for each feature from scratch. Every time you can build your own type of an application. Instead, you can extend on a feature set that already exists. When it comes to using a high level machine language, the JavaScript framework is highly popular. Types of JavaScript framework. Let's have a peek at the top of 2022 JavaScript framework. AngularJS, Node.js, Vue.js, Vanilla.js, Ember.js, Matier, and Mithril. Now, we go through each of them along with who is currently being used, where to use, and its pros and cons. So, I start with the first framework, Angular. Angular is JavaScript framework which is written in TypeScript and it is one of the most powerful, efficient, and open source. Google operates this framework and is implemented to using single page application. AngularJS was originally developed by Misko Havri in 2009 as version 1. The currently latest version of Angular is 12, which is released on May 12, 2021. The currently using companies are ClickBudge, Google, Amazon, YouTube for PS3 and Netflix, and many more. In the next slide, where to use this framework? Which type of thing you can develop, like dynamic web pages, business level web pages, single page application, progressive web application. In the next slide, pros and cons of AngularJS. The first, maintained by Google. Because it is endorsed and maintained by Google, the large community of developers throughout the world. Second, job demand. The Angular framework is a great tool. To have a checklist item in your CV because of its enormous popularity and demand. Two-way binding. In the entire framework, one characteristic of Angular is two-way binding. Any chance of document object model is reflected in the application and vice versa. Faster server performance. Everything is written in a type-safe manner using TypeScript. And the built-in framework is far faster than the other native JS framework. The first cons Performance is relatively slow. Second, contains different types of structure. Third, harder to learn as compared to other framework like React or Vue. So this is all about the Angular framework. Now come on to the another framework, Node.js. Node.js is an open source server side and this JavaScript runtime environment that works across platform. With its event driven architecture, the framework can handle asynchronous input-output. It runs in the JavaScript runtime environment and displays Java-like features. 
such as threading, packing, loop formation. And the currently using companies are Microsoft, Uber, and GoDaddy. In the next slide, where to use this Node.js? We can use this framework and develop things like real time application, streaming application, messaging application, social media application, multiplayer application, and many more. Now let's move on to the another slide that is pros and cons of Node.js. The first one asynchronous event driven input output which helps concurrent request handling. Share the same piece of code with both server and client side. You can stream big files too. It uses JavaScript which makes easy to learn. Cons Node.js doesn't provide scalability. Second, if you are using Node.js and dealing with the relational database which is hassle. Each time you use a callback, you will wind up having plenty of the nested callback. Node.js is not designed for jobs that require lot of processing power. It's solely good for input output stuffs like web server. So this all about the Node.js. Now come on to the third framework which is Vue. Vue.js is a progressive JavaScript framework that can be used to create a dynamic web interface. It's one of the most well-known framework for web development. The view layer is the focus of the Vue.js. It may be seamlessly integrated into large project for the front-end development. Vue.js created by Ivan Yu, an ex-employee of Google, and the first version of Vue.js was released in February 2014. The currently using companies are Adobe, BMW, Alibaba, Xiaomi, etc. In this slide, where to use this framework? Single page application, desktop application, and mobile application. Pros of Vue.js Lightweight Vue.js is a small framework, almost extremely amusing. Blinking takes longer than the download, which is only 18 kilobytes. No brainer. Vue.js is extremely simple to learn, and this feature has been primary driver of its popularity and increasing among use programmers. Two-faced, Vue.js is inherited two-way data vending from its parent Angular. The UI view and model data changes are linked in this way. This makes updating connected components and tracking the data that is updated a lot easier. The last, divide and concur. Each web page or app component is expressed as an encapsulated element of UI in Vue.js. This can be written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript without requiring to be separated into multiple files. The first cons language barrier. Vue.js was created in China and as a result, it is immensely popular in that country because some of the forum conversation, plugin description, and instructional manuals are in Chinese. Export certain things to get lost in translation. Poverty pack. The technology is not robust or well supported enough to give the quick fixes that a large organization would require and might be offered by React and Angular supports. Inexperienced because Vue.js has not been around as long as its competitor and it took a while for it to break into the market and get widespread adoption among programmers. There is a shortage of experienced Vue.js developer on the job market. So this all about the Vue.js. Now come on to the fourth framework, Vanilla. The Vanilla JS script can be used to develop major and impact application as well as website. This framework was created in 2012 by Eric Wassel. The following website is currently using Vanilla framework script for their home pages like Facebook, Google, YouTube, and Yahoo. Now, in the next slide, where to use this vanilla JS framework? We can develop dynamic web pages where client request for a service to a web server and web server collect the data from the database server and then services provide to their client. In the next slide, pros and cons of vanilla JS. First, user friendly. Vanilla JS is revelation for beginners because it is so simple to use. Second, better web performance. Unlike HTML or CSS, the vanilla JS must parse and compile, and a 30 KB vanilla JS file has a greater impact on the web speed than other HTML or CSS file with the same size. Speed 
Vanilla JS does not require any external resources. Hence, its code is executed entirely on the client side, resulting in exceptional performance. The first cons, lack of debugging utilities. Second, there is no support of network-based application. They can't be utilized to create them. Third, there is no multiprocessor and multithreading options. Fourth, because the code is available on the client side, it can be modified and used for malicious purpose. So this all about the vanilla JS. Now come on to the another framework, Ember. Ember JS is a free Java script client side framework for constructing web application that is open source. It enables the development of a comprehensive solution that includes data management and an application flow. The original name of Ember JS was Sprout Core MVC framework. It was developed by Yehuda Kaj and was initially released in December 2011. The currently using companies are like LinkedIn, Accenture, OYO, etc. In this slide, we will discuss where to use this framework like complex multi pages application, web application, etc. Pros and cons of Ember JS Potent add on Ember's package ecosystem is very large and well developed. So you can be confident of finding the proper ones to solve your problem. Ember CLI Command Line Interface This will provide you a project structure with lots of imaging ads on, allowing for quick rebuilds and live reloads. Third, Convention over configuration Despite the fact Ruby on Rails was the first to adopt this concern. The first cons, tough to learn. Beginner developers may find Ember JS too tougher to master than Vue or React. Highly opinionated. The framework is highly opinionated and given any sort of deviation from the performing things might be result in frustration. So this all about the Ember JS framework. Now come on to the another framework, Matier. Matier is a Java script full time stack framework for building modern web and mobile application. Matier contains a building tools like a set of selected package from the Node.js and general JavaScript communities and a crucial set of technologies for developing connected client reactive applications. Matier is developed by Matier Software itself. The currently using companies are Deloitte, PolicyBazaar.com, Shelf, etc. In this slide, where to use this framework and Matier can help to develop like real-time application, mobile application, and desktop application. In this slide, the first pros of Matier is developer only needs a Java script for a server and client-side development. Matier apps are real-time by default. Coding is very simple and beginner-friendly. The first cons, Matier isn't very suitable for a large and complex application. Only MongoDB supports now. Distributed data pool is not used anywhere else. But REST is, and you have to do that in addition to your application. So this is all about the Matier framework. Now come on to the another framework, Mithril. Mithril is client-side JavaScript framework used to create a single page application. Mithril cover all the features that other framework provide, like document object model elements, components, routing, and XML HTTP request, which is a just way to communicate with server and communication is the most important things to progress. Leo Hori has introduced the Mithril framework, but today thanks to hard work and the great ideas of many people, they launched the different version. The currently using companies like Nike, Fitbit, Lises, and Flarem, etc. Where to use this framework? We can develop like single page application. The first pros of the Mithril is, Mithril is small in size and easy to learn. Mithril is faster than React on rendering. Quality of documentation is very good and it is simple application program interface. Mithril allows a smooth transition from the other UI framework. The first cons, Mithril is a small application program interface and a small number of functions will be helpful for a small project. But it is unsuitable for a larger or more complex projects. The community of Mithril is short and it doesn't have many big companies to using it. You may leave the face problem with routing while using Mithril. Now we understand the last, the importance of the JavaScript framework. In the modern era, the JavaScript framework is an important aspect for the quick development of any type of application, 
because the various framework contains bundles of function which help us to reusability of predefined codes javascript framework make it convenient for the developers so thank you so much for your patience to watching this video we will meet shortly just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in software engineering then intellipad provides an advanced certification program on software engineering and application development by enict council of iit guwahati and it is taught by iit guwahati professors and industry experts this course is designed to upskill and land your dream job